belly to the tail back at all. Today I'm going to bring to you what I am sending my swap partner for this month's swap from Crafty Crafts by Dina Swaps and Stuff. Um, our theme was Maggie Holmes and we had to send 10, at least 10 items that were Maggie Home themed. So I'm going to bring to you what I'm sending my swap partner. Um, she goes by, I uh, forget what, I forget what her name is now on, uh, Facebook, but her real name Cheryl, also. um, this is what I'm sending Cheryl, so, so Cheryl, don't peek, don't come, don't, don't look any further, stop right now, don't go if you don't, if you don't want to see what you're getting, okay, so the first thing I did was I, uh, followed the tutorial on, uh, Dina's, uh, channel Crafty Crafts by Dina on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below and then um, you can or I'll link the video below or whatever. You'll find the link. But anyhow, I just made her this little box. Like that. And then um, I just filled it with some home handmade flowers. Just a few little rolled flowers. And then some bows. Made her a bunch of little bows. And then she can you know, whatever bow, whatever ribbon I had, I was making bows out of it, and there's some more little flowers. So, just a box of flowers and bows. So, I'm going to ship that off to her. I'm going to get some embellishments. These are just, uh, cray paper and some cardstock and a some buttons and this little word uh, beads and then these are just some melted pony beads that I turn into enamel dots. Um, these embellishments are just little rosettes and they just have like little Maggie Holmes the papers cut out and then some little gold accents and then some of the words that I had from the sticker book. I uh, did these, um, Ferris wheels for her, um, these were inspired by, um, Alicia from Crafty, um, Alicia's Crafty Hopalop, that's what it is. She made these, and she was inspired by somebody else, but she had made them like this, and I seen them, and said, ah, that'd be ideal for my Maggie Holmes thing, so. I made some of those. It's just a rosette, and it has a little Ferris wheel die cut. And I just layered them up and glued some little beads on them. So, um, let's see. I made her a card. This is a, like, this came in inspiration was from uh, Mixed Up Crafts. She has a, a rocker card, and then she had a shaker card, and I just kind of combined them. Yeah, it's a shaker, and then the card rocks. Well, if I can get it to stand up. And then it rocks and it just keeps them. I don't mind me knocking them all over. I'm so tired, guys. It's been a long week. Weekend, I should say. And then I woke up this morning with a migraine. I wanted to get this in the post office, but it's such a migraine. I never made it, so I'm going to try to get this out this afternoon. Um, this is a candy uh, box. It has Twix in it. And, uh, I did a tutorial on the other one. It had, um, I think the 100 grand candy bars, and it was like a six, six bar set. And this is an eight bar set, so made her those, and that's all Maggie Home paper. Did the note cards. I have a tutorial on this. This one's a little chunkier, because I raised up my, uh, note cards. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. When you put them on foam, it puffs up that, so... Um, it's got the six envelopes and the six new cards. It just has flowers on it. And then they just, you know, open like that. Well... I'm glad I undid that because I've got two that are stuck together and I'm gonna have to fix those before I... there we go. 
And it's just got six envelopes and I have a tutorial on that. So I'm going to center those. Just made a little pop uh, cracker box, pop popper box, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. And I just filled them up with some little hard candies. Um, I did her a tissue box. This wasn't really a Maggie Holmes paper, but um, I seen some rainbow paper and I thought it was really cute. So I just went ahead and did that. Just put that in her craft room or wherever she would like. Um, I sewed her this little pouch, which my husband thought was a suit or a pillowcase. And it does, it looks like a pillowcase kind of, but it's not. It's a, just a bag I sewed. It's a small bag with a snap and then inside it's got goodies. Um, I made her one of the uh, tissue, travel tissues. I have a tutorial for that on my channel. Um, a nail file with a little nail file holder. Um, just one of those little peel off masks and I just put a little ribbon on it. Um, this is the little chapstick Holder thing. I have a tutorial on that, and uh, there's an SVG file that I have for it because I did mine on my Cricut. Um, and then I did a hand, I'm currently doing cold process soap, and so this was one of my first soaps I did, and it's finally cured. So I'm gonna ship her off one of my honey oatmeal artesian soaps. So I'm gonna send that to her. Put this back in this bag or I'll forget and I will have it lost. <laughs> uh, let's see here, what else do I got? Did her, uh, um, this isn't really Maggie home, but I like to include it. Just a personalized little dish towel to go in her kitchen. Uh, let's see here. And I did one of the little, um, cutting boards. I cut it, cut them, and we I burned them, and then um, I just did some uh, heat transfer vinyl and put that on there, and just put a little bit on there. So she's got that. Um, did her to a glue topper stopper, and her favorite color is yellow. So if there was yellow in a Maggie Holmes theme, I was getting all the yellow papers out of it I could get. Um, did her this little notebook. I did a tutorial on this with the clip and without the clip. This one just has the clip, the 3D printed clip. And then this one, um, just I just left it plain inside. Um, did it, uh, the cupcake socks. I have a tutorial on that. And inside there. Um, let's see, I made her a, a mug. I did alcohol ink on it and then put her name on it. And then I uh, did epoxy on it. And then inside I have a, a donut stick and a little coffee creamer and a K-cup coffee and one of those little tiny silver spoons. Uh, she can have a cup of coffee and have her donut stick with it. <laughs> um, and then um, did her... I think this is a 8x8 sort of album. It's been a minute since I did this one. I should have eight and a half. Yeah, it's about eight. It's eight and a half, I think. Get my glasses on so I can see here. And it's about eight and a quarter. So basically eight by eight. Eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then um, on the front cover, I just did a um, this two corners and it just holds the photo mats. And this one just kind of, you know, some hot glue string there. And this one you just kind of have to just bend it and pop it out. So it's just got that. And then this is um, a 
page that has the slider. You slide this down and this lifts up and then this is just a pocket. And it just has some picture mats in here. And it just slides up to close it. On um, this one it has just a little pocket with a magnet closure and then it has just a little pull out tag. A journal and put pictures in. Basically, pretty much a journal on. You know, you just get the pictures on these ones or a journal. It doesn't matter. However you want to do it. And they both have a long tag and then a shorter tag. And I just did some of the Maggie Holmes. Um, I have this sticker book and I just scanned it into my computer and ran through my... Uh, cutting machine. Just did a little Stacy bow and some picture mats. It's just a pocket. I did a couple kind of like Polaroid looking uh, photo mats. And then on this page it's um, this is a belly band and then this is just a little booklet. And it has just blank pages in it where she could journal. If she wants to put pictures in there, she can. And it tucks in like that. And then this lifts up. And then uh, she can put photos there. And then this lifts, comes down. There's a, a small pocket down here. i turn it sideways, but it was just pocket. And it just has some uh, photo mounts. And then this is just the basic waterfall. And I do leave mine blank. Just with a little piece of uh, paper on there just to kind of make it nice when it's closed but then that way they can journal or they can um, put photos there and not have to worry about covering up paper and then this side is just a, a closure so we'll have some hot loose drinks and then that's kind of like a side waterfall type thing There's four pages there and then just this little tuck spot and then the last page here is a um, this is another or just a little folder and then this opens to the, to the down to the bottom this one opens to the top and then you can put photos or journal in there and then close those and uh, it's been a minute since I went in and open to the left and to the right. And this opens to the left and then to the right. Same thing. It's been a minute since I had opened it. This was one of the first things I did make. And, and then another little, just another tuck spot. And then that's the back. I just left it kind of plain. I'm just going to a photo album and this comes out. She can put a photo on here and then tuck that back down in there. And this is just a little photo frame. And just decorated it with a little bit of bows and some stickers. And then the last thing that I have for her is uh, her spa kit. Um, remember to put this stuff on there before I forget. So we'll I know I gotta get a ribbon. I gotta make a ribbon. Um, this is a the box. I made the box and it's magnetic in the front. And you just open this up like that and I decorated it. It just says um hello sunshine. And then I just use some ribbon and then the packaging is just the paper. And then this is just the basic uh, spa day kit. And all the everything inside is handmade. These are some handmade uh, foaming bath salts, and it comes with a 3D printed scoop. Um, there's lotion in this box, handmade lotion. Uh, she's got a couple of bath bombs, uh, a couple bubble bars. It's like solid bubble bath. <clears throat> call them solid bubble bath. You can't say they're bubble bars because. <clears throat> Bubble bars are a lush product and they are uh, have a patent on them. So we can't call them bubble bars, but we can I guess call them solid bubble bath. And then I did her a uh, handy whips body soap.
And this is what uh, called Sunny Day. And then it has the little applicator that goes with it. That she can um, scoop it out with instead of trying to stick her hands down in it. But she could if she wanted to. So I have that going out to her. And that's it. That is what I'm sending to my swap partner. So I hope she's happy with it all. And I know it's kind of a lot of it's repeats from other um, swaps. But, you know, I, I kind of just keep doing the same things over and over because it's all I know. I change it up a little bit here and there. But um just seems to be, you know, what I send it and they like it. So I just keep sending, sending it. So, yep. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here, and I will see you in the next video. Hit that like and subscribe, and share with your friends if you would like. And um, if there's anything you see here you want a tutorial on, or you want to, you know, leave a comment, leave a comment about it, and I'll try to do a tutorial or point you in the direction of where you can find it. And I think that's it for today, guys. I'm going to get this done, package it up, and see if I can get this to the post office this afternoon. Or if not, it will definitely go up first thing Tuesday morning. Um, so, yeah. And then, like, my bath whips and stuff, I don't like to make those until last minute. So, um, before I ship them, because I don't want it to be all melty or anything. So, yeah. Alright, I'm going to go package this up, get a box, get it filled up, and get the address on it, and see about getting to the post office. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Take care, stay safe, and remember I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye friends.